Good morning, class family. It's a fantastic Wednesday. Get your fans ready. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and look at our message together. Show me that you're a teen and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Let's start with today's date. Ready? March 30th, 2022. Dear class family, today is Wednesday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will review the ABCs and fast words. Next, we will read poems and act them out with our voice, face, and bodies. Then we will write a poem and learn to use repetition. Love, Miss Joyner. All right, let's go ahead, kindergartners. Let's look back at the message and talk about some of the special things that we're doing today at school in language arts. Do you remember the date for today? Point to the top right-hand corner. Read it again. March 30th, 2022. If you remember that was the date, go ahead and pat yourself on the back. Did you notice a capital letter here? Well, what letter is that? Say it out loud. It is an M, like M man M. Remember, we always put an uppercase letter to start each month of the year because it's special and important. Let's continue reading. Look at our greeting. Did you notice how it starts with a capital D for dear? When we're writing a letter to somebody, we always make sure to have a capital letter for the dear, that D right there to start. And whoever you're writing to, make sure that you capitalize the first letter in your name. Since you're in my class family, I noticed some capital letters. What did you see? I heard some of you say it. You're right, the C for class and the F for family. Let's go ahead and look at the first telling sentence and notice the capital letters there too. Today is Wednesday. It is Wednesday. It's a wonderful Wednesday. Did you notice some capital letters? Hmm. Well, where did you see them? That's right at the start of the sentence, like T top t for the word today. Remember, good writers always put a capital letter to start each sentence. Remember the four things when you're writing sentences. Good writers first start with a capital letter. Second, remember a sentence tells a complete idea. Third thing, you need to make sure there's a finger space between the words so the words don't smush. And the fourth thing, have a punctuation mark at the end. We have a period right there, but you could also have besides a period, you could have a question mark at the end of a question sentence or an exclamation mark at the end of a really exciting sentence. Do you know another name for an exclamation mark? Hmm. It could also be called an exclamation point. So exclamation mark and exclamation point are both acceptable for calling that punctuation mark at the end of a really exciting sentence. Let's go ahead and see what else we're doing at school. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true class family. You know, we're going to learn a lot at school every day and we we're going to learn so much today and we are going to be making connections and sharing our ideas with others. That's what students do at school. They share their thinking and they listen and let's go ahead and look at this next sentence. Did you notice the capital letter here? Well, remember, we start every sentence with a capital letter. What letter is this? It is an F, like F fun. Let's read this telling sentence. First, we will review the ABCs and fast words. Okay, so we will be reviewing the ABCs, starting with A and going all the way from A to Z. We're gonna be singing the ABC song, making connections. We're going to be reviewing letters, sounds, and the picture that starts 
with that beginning letter. Oh, it's going to be so much fun in kindergarten. And you know what? We're also going to be reviewing the fast words on this list. In addition to some of the other words that we've added, we have kindergarten sight words that we review every single day so that we can be fluent in those words. And we've added a couple more to our, um, our word wall that we display on the smart board in class. And we also have one on the other side of the wall so kids can have access to that all day long for their resource. Let's go ahead and check out the next part. Oh, and we're also gonna be doing um, sight word dance, okay? So in addition to saying these fast words, we're gonna be doing sight word dance and rocking it out and moving our bodies and looking at the words and saying it and having so much fun in kindergarten. Next, we're gonna read poems and act them out with our voice, face, and bodies. Okay, so we're gonna be using so much expression and we're going to be changing our voices, acting out, we're gonna be using our bodies. When we do this today, we are going to um, also discuss how we're gonna do this and we're going to share it and, and get up and move and we're gonna listen and ask questions to understand. We're gonna be a great communicator all day long and when we're looking at the poems as well. And remember, we're gonna be a collaborator respectfully listen to the ideas of others, and we're going to share our ideas. It's going to be an awesome day in kindergarten. Then we will write a poem and learn to use repetition. Love, Miss Joyner. During writing workshop, we'll get our resources together, including our alphabet chart for each kid and the fast words list on the back. We'll have the word wall up on, on in the classroom, and we'll use this to help us. And together we're gonna to write a poem to learn to use repetition and use resources because that's what good writers do. Let's have a fantastic day. Get your fans ready. Fantastic. Remember to hit the subscribe button and let's go ahead and give ourselves a high five on this wonderful Wednesday. Hold up five fingers, look at it and wave. High five. And let's do another one, switch it. High five. All right, later on for the question today, we are going to be sharing our thinking, doing a T-chart of yes or no answers. Look at the picture of these beautiful trees. Do you like cherry blossom trees? Oh, I know they're blooming all over the world in the DC area, so many cherry blossoms. Do you like cherry blossom trees? Get ready to share your thinking later today when we do this. All right. Remember to hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up if you like this video.